With me is Paul Stevens, CEO of Canadian listed Alton Rio. How are you today, Paul? Very good, Lydia. Nice to be here. Nice to have you. So Alton Rio is a gold exploration company focusing in the Southern Cross area of Western Australia. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, Southern Cross has become a really hot area. Um, there's now been five new listings this year alone on companies focused on exploration in Southern Cross. Of course, there's always been the very large companies actually mining there. And um, look, we're, we're really pleased with um, the fact that we've captured about half of the entire Greenstone belt, Lydia. So that's giving us uh, a great opportunity to get out there and, and you know, I think we'll get some success very early on. So, as far as I understand, a drilling program has already commenced in the area. Yep, we've, uh, we've, um, we've just announced that we've commenced our initial drilling program for the, um, that'll take us through to the end of this year. Uh, we're doing about two and a half, three thousand 3,000 metres of RC drilling. Um, focused on three different areas, but primarily around the newly acquired Pilot Mine. So Pilot was a, a mine that was originally uh, mined as an underground operation by Western Mining, a very famous Australian company. Uh, in the early 60s, mid to mid 60s. Those underground workings are still, are still there. Um, at the moment they're flooded, but we'll be looking to, looking to um, explore around those. And then in the early 90s, a company called Troy Resources came and put an open pit on top of that. Um, mind a small about a gold, but it's important to remember that in the, in the 90s, the gold price was around $300 an ounce. And today, in Aussie dollar terms, we're talking about a $2,600, $2,700 gold price. So, the economics of a mine like this are, you know, highly likely to stack up very, very, very good. Well, I think the fact that Troy is behind this or had a footprint in it, I mean, there's not many people that don't know about Troy. So that's some, somewhat promising for shareholders. Look, I think it is. Our chairman um, of Alton Rio, John Jones, was the chairman of Troy at the time that Pilot was last mined. So you mentioned that there is other drilling going on around the mine sites. So our drill program will focus on three areas. One's the actual Pilot mine itself. And then the two other areas we're looking at are a long strike from existing mines. So over our roughly 30 kilometres of tenure, we have no less than five relatively large gold mines that were mined in the 80s and 90s. And of course, the extensions of those mines have never really been looked at. So Paul, do you think the pilot looks more like an open pit target or more like an underground opportunity? Look, it's a really good question. Um, we don't know about the underground potential yet. We know that Western Mining mined underground down to the floor level. We know it carried very good grade. Um, we also know that when Troy mined in the early 90s, they did a study on increasing the size of the pit and dropping it down just another 20 or 30 metres. And that was marginally economic at $300 an ounce. So you would hope that at $2,500, $2,600 an ounce, the economics of that make a lot of sense. So what I think we could say with confidence is, is we really do see an opportunity to expand the existing open pit what we're really excited about is our partnership with Bato Gold. Bato Gold is a Chinese listed, very large, successful gold mining company, and they own and run the roughly two million tonne per annum operation at Marvel Lock. It's only about 45 k's away. We've got a signed agreement with them. So if we can prove up enough resources quickly, then we've got an operating mill and we can actually get the company into cash flow. Now, that's certainly one of our big drivers. We really have a dual focus. On one hand, We've got an opportunity that could see the company actually go mining, and, and that's obviously good for all shareholders. On the other hand, we've got some fantastic new grass reach, reach targets that would enable, enable us to chase a virgin discovery. So uh, at the end of the day in this market, you know, the answer is do both. We should see the first results before Christmas, but certainly they'll still be coming through as we go into January and February of next year. So Christmas presents for Alton Rio shareholders. We're certainly gonna do everything we can to achieve that. What a great opportunity to be following an exploration company right from the beginning. To stay up to date, be sure to subscribe to Alton Rio YouTube or follow all the updates on the website altonrio.com. I look forward to seeing you again soon.